Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of how to find the Jordan canonical form of a 3 by 3 matrix. Suppose we wish to find the Jordan form of 10, 1, negative 2, 0, 9, 3, negative 1, negative 1, 8. We know that lambda equals 9 is the only eigenvalue of this matrix. You can check that yourself by computing the characteristic equation. To find an eigenvector of this, so we can also note that the algebraic multiplicity is equal to 3. So if I want to find an eigenvector, I will find something in the kernel of this matrix minus 9 times the identity. This matrix minus 9 times the identity will be a 1, 1, negative 2, a 0, 0, 3, a negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. I want a vector v such that this outputs the zero vector. And we can see that the third component of v has to be zero since all of these numbers are different and I have two zeros over here. And since I have a 1, 1 and a negative 1, 1 and the x and the y entry respectively, that tells me that I can choose v to any, be any multiple of 1, negative 1. So what we'll do over here, for the sake of simplicity, since we have 9, I will choose 9, negative 9, 0. I could have also chose 1, negative 1, 0, or 3, negative 3, 0, but this will just help with the algebra a little bit. And furthermore, this is the only eigenvector, so the dimension of the kernel of our matrix, let's call this matrix over here A, of A minus 9 times the identity is equal to 1 which tells us that the deficiency, delta, which is the difference, and this of course is going to be the geometric multiplicity, so the deficiency is the difference in the algebraic multiplicity minus the geometric multiplicity, And so the deficiency of this eigenvalue is equal to 2 in this example. So we wish to find a vector w such that a minus 9 times identity applied to w gives us v. So our next step is that we would like to find a vector w such that a minus 9 times identity applied to w is equal to v. So let's set that equation up. So that equation will be 1, 1, negative 2, 0, 0, 3, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, applied to w1, w2, w3 is equal to 9, negative 9, 0. If we focus in on the second line over here, the second row of this matrix, the second row of this matrix will tell me that 3 times w3 have to be equal to negative 9, which tells me that w3 can be chosen to be negative 3. Once we know w3 is equal to negative 3, we can use the other two equations. The other two equations will tell us that w1 plus w2 minus 2w3 is equal to 9, and that will tell us that w1 plus w2, since w3 is negative 3, this is a positive 6, equals 9, and that tells us that w1 plus w2 can be 3. So any w1 plus w2, which, is giving, which will give me 3, will be a solution to this problem. So what we will do is we will choose w, to be, I will choose w1 to be 0, then I will choose w2 to be 3, and then I will choose w3, which we already know to be negative 3, and we have found our vector w. So now we have v and w, and so w is our first generalized eigenvector. So w is a generalized eigenvector. And we know the important property of W is this property right here, that 
a minus 9 times n a applied to w is equal to v, which can be rewritten as a applied to w is equal to 9w plus v, which is equivalent to saying that w is an element of the kernel of a minus 9 times identity squared. Our next step will be to find a vector q such that a minus 9 times identity applied to q is equal to w, which we'll see shortly. Welcome back, students. We'll continue our discussion of finding the Jordan canonical form of A. What we found so far is that for the matrix A, we have an eigenvector V that corresponds to lambda equals 9. So lambda equals 9 is the only eigenvalue of this matrix. The algebraic multiplicity was 3. And the geometric multiplicity of this eigenvector is equal to, of this eigenvalue is equal to 1. This W was the first generalized eigenvector. And it satisfies the equation a minus lambda, the identity w, is equal to v. Now we'll find the next generalized eigenvector. The next generalized eigenvector is a solution to the equation a minus 9 applied to the identity applied to q is equal to w. So let's write this equation and see what we have. So I will have a 1, 1, negative 2, a 0, 0, 3, a negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, applied to q1, q2, q3, is equal to 0, 3, negative 3. So, if I look at the first equation, the first equation will tell me that q1 plus q2 minus 2 q3 is equal to 0. The second equation will tell me that 3 q2 is equal to 3. And the final equation will tell me that, up to the negative sign, that q1 plus q2 plus q3 is equal to 3. The second equation over here tells me that q2 is equal to 1. And now if q2 is equal to 1, we have that from this bottom equation over here, q1 plus 1 plus q3 is equal to 3. So q1 plus q3 is equal to 2. q1 plus q3 is equal to 2. And if I take q1 to be 1 and q3 to be 1, we see that 1 plus, remember that q2 is also equal to 1, 1 plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0, that works. The second equation by definition works, and 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So the vector q can be chosen to be 1, 1, 1. So now let me consider the basis. So now the vectors, so note, v, w, and q are linearly independent. And we have the following relationships. We have the following three important relationships. We have that with a minus 9 times the identity applied to v is equal to 0. a minus 9 times the identity applied to w is equal to v. And a minus 9 times identity q is equal to w, which we can rewrite as saying that a applied to v is 9v. a applied to w is equal to 9w plus v. And a applied to q is 9q plus w which tells me that we have now found the Jordan form of this matrix. The Jordan form of our matrix A will be this matrix P. The matrix P will be the, the vector V, then the vector W, then the vector Q, then I have nines on the main diagonal, And then above the main diagonal, I will have a whole bunch of 1s, and a zero on the top. And what we'll go over here in the final spot is the inverse of this matrix P, 
0, 1, negative 9, 3, 1, 0, negative 3, 1. Inverse. Thank you very much.